Welcome to Adventures in Engineering. Today I'm going to talk about a mountain bike carbon fiber rim failure and do a failure analysis on it. I'm going to talk about how to prevent that from happening and I'm going to talk about whether they're worth the money. I'll start by saying I did not have a catastrophic failure in this wheel. No body over the bars, no broken bones, no anarchy involved. My carbon fiber rim developed a series of several cracks and I deemed it was likely to break if stressed hard enough. My first clue that something was wrong was when a spoke nibble broke, but it happened when a stick hit the spoke. Over time, four more nipples broke though in different circumstances, so that got my attention. The wheels were originally built with aluminum alloy spoke nipples. Over time, these started to deteriorate due to galvanic corrosion, a degrading of the metal that happens when at the interface of different types of metal. That corrosion caused the nipple to swell and crack the carbon rim, much like a root underneath of a concrete sidewalk cracks the sidewalk. I decided to replace all of the spoke nipples with brass units. In the process, I was able to save the rear wheel, but the front wheel had enough cracks that I deemed it was not safe to ride on anymore. Why use brass spoke nipples, you might ask, when you can get aluminum alloy ones in red or even purple? Well, obviously, the alloy ones corrode. That's a problem. I've had bike mechanics tell me you should replace them every two to three years, and that's a lot of expense and time. The brass ones will last for years and years, maybe 20, 30, 50 years. There's essentially no difference in strength between the two until the alloy spoke starts to corrode. The price difference, well, brass is actually cheaper at about half the price of the alloy spokes. And the weight, well, you got to give the nod to the aluminum alloy spoke, uh, spoke nipples at uh, about a third of the weight of the brass ones, but that's about 20 grams per wheel. Is it really worth it? Against my frugal judgment, I decided to go ahead and replace the carbon fiber rim with another carbon fiber rim. Um, but there's a lot of reasons why you could go the other way and go to an aluminum alloy rim. Obviously, the most common reason to go to carbon is weight. However, my rim weighed about 400 grams. I've seen some down in the 300 range. Um, I don't know about the quality of those, but the uh, Roval wheels that I had are 400 gram rim. I looked DT Swiss's aluminum alloy cross-country rims, and they range between 360 and 460 grams. So their middle of the line was about 415. That's not a lot of difference, 15 grams between the uh, carbon and the aluminum alloy. For strength and stiffness, the nod goes to the carbon rim. But the aluminum rim, if you hit it, uh, you can bend it. The carbon rim will crack or break. So you can repair the aluminum rim after a big hit. The carbon rim will go in the trash. Here's an example of an aluminum rim that was hit hard, not round anymore, wheel tacoed, and for less than $100, my local bike shop fixed it, and it's pretty much perfect now. So now we move on to cost. I'm only going to compare my specific carbon fiber rim because I know what it costs. Um, I'm sure there are other models and makers out there that can be cheaper or more expensive, but mine was $400 as a replacement rim, plus the build and tax, which came to $506 to fix this wheel. I looked at DT Swiss's website, and it looks like I could have bought a rim from them that would be pretty equivalent in both weight and uh, strength for approximately $150 plus the build. Was it worth it? Well, I'd say I prefer reliability and lower cost in general. If the weight difference was two times between the rims, my opinion might be different. But maybe 60, 80 grams difference, including the brass spoke difference, it's just not worth the price difference, in my opinion. If replacing a wheel set, I'd go for the alloy wheel set at half the price and negligible differences in weight and strength. And I'd run screaming from any wheel set that had alloy spoke nipples. In conclusion, save your expensive carbon fiber rims by using brass spoke nipples or use aluminum rims and brass spoke nipples. Live long and prosper.